Hi friends, today I wanted to share a story about baseball. So let's go ahead and get started. Joey in Mudville. He hoped it was a nightmare, but when Mighty Casey woke, the headline in the Mudville Times read, Mighty Casey chokes. The day before he'd struck out with the tying runs on base, and with the loss, the Mudville Nine fell into second place. Times. The next game was a crucial one for Mudville's confidence. In the eighth, they took the lead when Casey cleared the fence. But with the two gone in inning nine, their starter walked three straight. The skipper sighted out and said, sit down kid, you did great. Now fans of Mudville knew their team's relievers weren't the best. Just who would get the final out was anyone's guess. The choice was this, a rookie or a washed up noodle arm. The skipper played a hunch and called on Joy, fresh off the farm. As Joy the rookie hurl took the mound to pitch relief, some 20,000 fans stared down in dis silent disbelief. What struck them dumb was not the unknown's an anonymity. It was the fact that Joy, the rookie's first name, was a she. Her hair was short and leather brown. Her eyes were grassy green. And like a rack of fungo bats, her limbs were long and lean. She used her spikes to groom the mound, then blew a big pink bubble, as if to say, I'm just the guy to pitch us out of trouble. The crowd turned rude and booed, but Joy pretended not to hear. Deep down, she knew she'd have to prove herself before they'd cheer. Because she was a girl, the fans assumed she'd come up short. She'd show them soon enough that girls excel in many sports. Joy powwowed with her catcher till they got their signal straight. Then Jackson, fearsome slugger, for their foes approached the plate. He smirked at Joy, but she stared past him, waiting for the sign. Her catcher wagged at one finger, just the pitch she had in mind. Joy turned her back and spread her feet like football players do, then glared at Jackson upside down, her face between her shoes. Fans held their breath until the mudville catcher hollered, hike! Then like a shot, Joy snapped the ball past Jackson for a strike. Their face restored, the crowd resounded like a joyful choir. They'd never seen a pitch like that, so clever, so inspired. What is this football? Jackson growled. I ain't no quarterback. The ump replied, so far you ain't no hitter either, Jack. Her catcher dropped two fingers now. Joy nodded, then she spit. The smirk was gone from Jackson's face, his eyes reduced to slits. Then softly, like a tennis serve, Joy lopped the ball up high and smacked it homeward with her glove. Strike two, the umpire cried. A shockwave shook the ballpark as the fickle fans went wild. When Jackson stepped out of the box, complaining like a child. If this is tennis, ump, he gripped, then let me get my racket. You have a bat, the umpire said. What's wrong, Jack? Can't you whack it? So now the game came, came down to this, one final strike to go and no one in the park could wait to see what Joy, what Joy would do. To out to strikes, the base is full, the score still one to zip. Out on the mound, Joy popped another bubble on her lips. This time, her catcher flashed three fingers down between his knees. While Jackson's knuckles turned bone white around the bat, he squeezed. Joy slowly chewed her gum and tucked her cap till it was straight then dribbled once and launched an, ar an arcing jump shot toward the plate. What happened next caught Joy off guard. Big Jackson turned to bunt. He laid it down the third baseline. It was the perfect stunt. The man on the third took off and barreled homeward at top speed, determined to erase the one to nothing Mudville lead. Joy charged the ball but had no time to pick it up and throw. So thinking fast, she kicked it soccer style with her toe. The ball arrived, the runner slid, a dust cloud filled the air. The umpire took his time, then yelled at last, 
you're out of there. So as the Mudville players swarmed the mound like buzzing bees, the humbled fans applauded Joy's originality. She proved the girl can play most any game as well as men. And yes, you guessed it, there was Joy in Mudville once again. The end.